Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll try to explain you the concept of implementation. So this is what an implementation process looks like. First, functional consultants tries to find out the business requirement of the client. Once business requirements have been understood, the SAP system is configured accordingly. Then the system is tested then the training is provided to the end users who will be using the system and then you put the system in a production environment and that part is called a go live okay so let's try to understand the configuration part so these this is a consultant here consultants have access to setup screens and this is a user here users have access to end user screens now consultants make changes to the setup screens such that the end user screens starts behaving as per the business requirements okay so setup screens dictates the behavior of end user screens and you can say that setup screens dictates the behavior of the whole application because application consists of end user screens okay so having said that in the configuration part you enter configuration on setup screens so that SAP application starts working as per business requirement. Now, certain tasks needs to be performed in order to achieve the desired functionality and that's what you do in the setup screen. So when you say you are configuring the system, that actually means you're performing certain tasks, okay? For example, here you're performing these four tasks because after performing these four setup tasks, uh, you will achieve certain functionality and this functionality is needed by the business in order to run its day-to-day -day business this company needs this functionality okay so that's what a configuration is configuration is also known as customizations or setup that's what it is you perform certain tasks on the setup screen so that application starts behaving in a certain way or application starts showing certain functionality okay now in order to achieve this functionality you would perform certain setup tasks okay so you have a target in mind that you want this functionality for example you want a functionality of check printing you want invoices to be entered in certain way you want these reports to be run by the user so these are all examples of functionality okay it could be a report it could be a screen or it could be a behavior of of certain screen in a certain way or it could be a program to that needs to be run in a certain way for example transfer of transaction from one module to to the other that's also an example of a functionality so you have the target functionality in mind so in order to achieve those target functionality you would perform certain setup task in on the setup screens now what functionality is needed by the system that is de determined under the business requirement stage so that's what this stage is for just to understand the business requirement and it, this stage could take months to complete because if the business is complicated you really need to understand the business requirement and sometimes business and re-engineering is also performed in this stage where you say that you're not running business um, in an uh, uh, in an industry accepted manner you need to change your business processes but the bottom line is that you need to jot down the functionality that uh, is needed by the SAP application okay so that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial I wanted to sh uh, explain you the concept of implementation so configuration or setup or customization part is done on a stage 2 and the whole purpose of configuration is so that applications start behaving in a certain way and in which way the application should behave that is determined in stage one that is you understand the business requirement okay so once you configure the system you do the testing and users do the testing you train the users and then the system is put in production so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I see you in the next tutorial